All right, this is SSL Family Dad with Simple Sustainable Living, and today we're going to check out what we got in our May Homestead box. All right, so I got pretty far behind here with the Homestead boxes, and man, I, I, I apologize about that. Um, this is actually May's box, so it was a month ago that I got this. Um, hay season and gardening and getting all this stuff laid out and planted and ready uh, it has just taken up every single bit of my spare time. So uh, without further ado, let's dig in here and see uh, what we got in this month's Homestead box. And I can tell you right off the bat, it's perfect timing for us here on our new Homestead. All right, so this month's box is all about bugs, and uh, like I said, it couldn't have come at a better time. This is, um, it's June in Michigan. We have a lot of pastures, a lot of weeds, a lot of meadows, a lot of forest, and uh, there are a lot of bugs around here. So plus we have this nice big traditional garden planted, and I don't know what kind of pest problems we're going to have out here. So um, as those things develop and as our stuff grows up, I want to identify that stuff right away. And, and knock it out. So um, this month's box is perfectly timed for, uh, for all those issues. The first two things here are both of these books, um, the Gardener's Bug Book and the Gardener's Guide to Plant Diseases. Um, I've gone over a lot of this stuff with our aquaponics videos, our indoor garden, and this stuff is, is just extremely useful. You can search around on the internet, but the internet's an awesome resource, but there's so much to filter through when you look on the internet. It's nice to have a good book that's been proven uh, with, with good information from somebody who knows what they're talking about. And, uh, and so uh, these are really nice. So you go through here, there's a lot of pictures uh, that will help you identify you know, what, uh, what certain plant diseases look like on the leaves. And uh, so you can really look through here and use that. Um, the same thing with the bugs. Uh, sometimes it's hard to identify bugs just off the internet. But this book will help you, um, you know, look up those bugs based on what plant that they're on or what plant that they're, you know, destroying or messing around with. Uh, and also earth safe ways to um, control those insects. So these two things are probably one of the most uh, frustrating things for new gardeners to try to, to sort through and figure out. And so there's a lot of great ways to control that, those things without, uh, you know, going out and buying a bunch of chemicals. So. Um, great books for, uh, for uh, our library here. So one of the coolest things in here, just like the slider that we got from Haas Tools that was uh, um, in the previous Homestead box, it talked about how to identify when to plant crops and when you can replant crops and things like that throughout the summertime, uh, spring and fall. Uh, this is kind of a slide rule for bugs. And I thought this was really neat because uh, you can use this to help identify what bugs you may have. And so if I am out in the garden watering or checking things out and I identify a bug or a pest that's uh, eating leaves or causing problems, I can go through here and this will tell you, you can just drag the slide rule down to that particular bug uh, and it will show you a picture of it, number one, so you can help identify it. And then it shows you uh, right below that what the natural enemies are. So what other bugs, what predatory bugs or animals will, will get rid of that naturally. So. Uh, and then we're going to talk about how to attract those types of things to your garden. Um, so spider mites, uh, aphids, and, and I know a couple of the answers to some of these. And then down at the bottom it has a description on you know what the bug is, what they look like, and uh, how to get rid of them as well. Uh, you know what the best thing is, hand pick them. Some of them are big enough where you just you know pick them off and feed them your chickens or whatever, uh, and and other types of things that they give you ways to uh, to deal with those bugs. So. Really cool, handy little thing. Uh, I think there's like 20 or more bugs on here, probably most common things that we're gonna find in our garden. So uh, I love these little things. I, I use the internet all the time. I use my phone. I have OneNote. I do a lot of organization and, and things like that with that. But uh, I like these little tools that I can just keep hanging in the garden uh, shed and, and just pull it out and look at it. Um, really handy to have everything in one place. So awesome little tool. Uh, and that goes along well with the books. So we're talking about pesticides, herbicides, and all that kind of stuff. Um, there are a lot of natural and organic um, products out there that can help you deal with those things. Uh, one of the things that, uh, and, and I, I generally don't use these types of things, uh, but I would go to these things if they, uh, you know, if I have a really bad problem that I'm not able to, to control. Um, these are uh, you know, organic certified products. Uh, this is a uh, biological insecticide, it's called. 
and basically it uses a, a bacteria um, in a solution here that uh, attacks these particular types of, of pests. Um, it's, a, it's supposed to be you know natural and organic uh, listed and all that kind of good stuff for use on organic crops and, and completely safe and everything. So um, again, something I probably never would have gotten, but I'm gonna keep this on hand in case I need it for any outbreaks I can't control with other methods. Uh, same thing here, another product here by the same company. This is an organic, uh, organic certified uh, product. Um, this is to handle aphids and mites and other things like that. I want to lose a whole, a whole crop of, uh, of vegetables to, uh, to these pests. And uh, sometimes if you catch it too late, then you, know, you may have to go to a product like this. Um, nice to have on hand. Again, organic stuff, so it's not going to uh, be harmful to anybody. So the other thing, that uh, same company here, and this is another organic certified product. Um, the active ingredient here is potassium bicarbonate, um, which is useful in a lot of different things, but this is for uh, powdery mildew. Powdery mildew is something that we get, especially for really early crops like uh, cucumbers and um, uh, big leaf uh, um, vegetables and things like that, you may get powdery mildew on. And it can, can definitely stunt the growth and wreck those plants if it gets too bad. Um, there are lots of other ways to control powdery mildew, but again, this is a, a completely organic product that uh, can help you get rid of it uh, much quicker or if it gets out of hand for you. So uh, another thing that's great and handy to have around. So with anything that you have that you uh, need to spray on your crops, whether you're going to use a compost tea or um, any type of uh, homemade solutions, uh, if you're targeting nutrient deficiencies, using, uh, I don't know, maybe Epsom salt, or uh, I've got uh, calcium fertilizers, homemade calcium fertilizers that you can make out of eggshells that I have a, a link, I'll put a link to a video that I've done on that before. Um, anything like that that you're going to spray, you need to have a good sprayer. And so this month's box, I was wondering why it was so big, uh, came with a, a Haas, Haas Tools sprayer uh, made in the USA. I, I've gotten so many junk sprayers in my life that uh, the, the pumps break and everything else. Um, there is a lot of plastic here still and, and most all of these are going to be plastic which is fine. Uh, it does have a brass sprayer which is nice um, and a rubber hose so it looks like a nice quality little sprayer. Uh, but these things are, you got to have one of these handy for, you know, for any type of uh, application that you're going to use in the garden to treat pests or um, even apply types of uh, homemade fertilizers and things. So uh, you'll see me using this this summer and uh, I'll probably go through some of my homemade recipes with uh, uh, some fertilizer stuff and compost tea stuff this year. So um, awesome tool to have around and of course you can use it for your, uh, your organic uh, pasta herb, uh, herbicides and things like that that you're going to use uh, with that stuff. So. So not only do we need to control our pests in our garden um, uh, and look for you know, diseases and stuff like that, but there are lots of ways to attract natural, um, natural predators to the garden to get rid of that stuff in the first place. And if you plant your garden right, you don't have to deal with too much of the, um, the uh, uh, you know, getting rid of the pests because you have natural predators in your garden. So one of the ways to attract uh, natural predators is by planting flowers. Um, the Gardener's Workshop uh, company here has a couple packets of different types of, uh, uh, it's a mix of flowers. This can be planted around the garden obviously to attract uh, bees and pollinators and butterflies and uh, also ladybugs. Ladybugs are a huge um, just a great thing to have in the garden. So if you can attract a lot of ladybugs, you'll have a lot less pest problems. We also want to attract uh, those, those beneficial bugs to our garden. Uh, this is a little chick water, actually, and you use like a, a mason jar uh, filled with water and you screw this on in here. Uh, and this will allow a little dish of water to be left out in the garden in the shade somewhere. So basically we want to provide food, water, and shelter for our beneficial bugs. So we want to attract them uh, and have, have a good habitat for them in our garden. So having a, a good supply of water is, is useful. Um, bees will also come and drink uh, water out of these as well. So ladybug attractant. This is an awesome uh, thing to have for sure. So this is a system to attract uh, ladybugs. Um, ladybugs can annihilate aphids and mites and, and other um, smaller bugs. They they just eat, 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 eat. They multiply quickly, and if you can get them in your garden and keep them there, 
if you have any type of mite problem or aether problem or whatever, these things will tear it up for you. Another uh, American Meadows is the company here. This is another really big packet of, uh, of wildflower seed mix. Uh, this has, it looks like about 20 different uh, varieties of, of uh, flowers on here. So it's a quarter pound of seed. And this can be broadcast around uh, the edges of your garden, throughout the garden, whatever, whatever space you have. In fact, I have that extra space here. I may um, plant some flowers in here along with some of the suggestions that you guys gave me. But uh, again, you want to attract bees to the garden. You want to attract butterflies to the garden. All those beneficial um, predators. So uh, flowers are, are a great thing to have ever on. So I think that's pretty much everything. So I can't wait to get some of the stuff set up and started. And uh, I haven't had bug problems yet. Thank God. Uh, but my garden's very young still, so I'm, I've got everything I need now to tackle that stuff as I uh, as I see it. Um, thank you to Homestead Box as always for sending these out for us. So this month we're going to be giving away the uh, the water and the ladybug lures. So this will be uh, anybody who makes a comment in the uh, comment section here on YouTube will be automatically entered to win. So you know, you know whatever kind of comment you want to leave is totally fine. Um, I am a little bit behind on sending out some of the previous uh, winners' products, so I do apologize for that. I will get those shipped out uh, this week and the next. So uh, 14 days uh, the, the contest goes for these, so in the next 14 days, whoever leaves a comment will be automatically entered, and uh, I'll go ahead and make that select check for 14 days and get that shipped out to you. So I will con communicate with you through YouTube, uh, the message system, so check YouTube uh, messages for a uh, message from me if you won. Um, so hopefully this will be beneficial in your garden and get, get to you just in time to help get some ladybugs in uh, to help keep down predators. So as always, guys, I appreciate you watching and checking out the homestead boxes. I love getting these things. And uh, just what, what a cool idea to have uh, these subscription model boxes for homesteaders. Uh, all the stuff that I've gotten throughout the, the last few months, I've used some of or all of those things throughout the gardening process and the tool sharpening stuff. I've used that for my hay baler already sharpening that stuff and shovels and everything else I mean I this stuff is just handy to have so check out their website I'll put a link in the description they have some new options now for their subscription models and they have some new entry uh, um, starter boxes and other things out there so uh, I, I really recommend you guys check that stuff out as always guys thanks for watching have a good one